What's up, Anamangians? And welcome back. So we have a new trailer for Bombshell. This is a film that is chronicling the uh, Fox News uh, scandal a few years ago uh, where various female reporters and personnel came out about their uh, various um, interactions with uh, founder Roger Ailes. Ailes? Not sure how you pronounce this his name but if you're familiar with this and you kind of already know what this movie is going to going to be about and what it's going to to entail uh this movie is starring Charlize Theron as Megan Kelly, Nicole Kill Nicole Kidman as Gretchen Carlson and Margot Robbie as Kayla Puss Pissil. And I'm pretty sure that there are going to be some other women uh, who are going to be portrayed by some other actresses in this as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at this trailer and uh See, is this going to be, um, and you can already tell by the cast that it's probably going to have a lot of, uh, uh, it's probably going to be Oscar bait, <laughs> uh, but that's okay. I love Oscar bait, especially if it's good Os Oscar bait. Let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, well that was interesting. Uh, really tense, uh, just with the buildup of of music, and it kind of had uh, each uh, actress, each main actress, kind of come in one at at a time. I liked how that was cut. Um, I'm not really sure what that was about. I mean, I'm I'm sure what the movie is about, but I'm 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 not sure why they had them so uncomfortable in that elevator like that. Uh, apparently, there was probably some. Uh, kind of uh, tension between the females who were coming out about the founder. I don't really know. I'm not really well versed in the actual details of that story. Uh, but it's really going to be interesting to see how they, uh, what that's all about, and what these actresses bring to this story. Uh, and I'm very interested in stories like these. Uh, and I'm really happy when you know movies are made about stuff like 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 this uh, because I do feel like it's a very important issue women having to go to work and having to deal with men who just don't get the picture you know who don't get the message that hey I'm not interested or just guys who aren't looking at women like they're women instead treating them like they're sex objects they can't wear certain things or uh, do certain things without being looked at a certain way or without having certain things expected of them so I really do appreciate when films like this come out or when people post stories and all that because it brings awareness to that whole thing uh, this right here was giving off a bit of like a black comedy type uh, feel uh, so I'm not sure how serious of a tone this is going to have and you know even if it is a comedy you know, you know as long as they still make that point that hey this happened it was wrong how can we get better or how can we do better in the future as far as preventing this speaking up when it actually happens not waiting a long time certain things like like that then i think i'll i'll be happy with it i love nicole kidman i love that she's been doing a lot lately uh she's been doing big little lies 
Uh, she's had a few other movies come out recently where she's had some really strong performances, and now this. Uh, I would really love to see Nicole Kidman win another Oscar. Um, it may or may not happen with this. I'm not sure. Charlize Theron has always been a favorite. And, of course, the magnificent Margot Robbie, who I feel is really underrated. I don't hear her name enough. I really feel like people need to check her out. While her turn in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood may not have been well-received or uh, anything to, write to, to rag home about, I do feel like she's a very, very good actress, uh, and she really needs to have some... Uh, notoriety you know I, I I think that it sucks that she's you know coming out at this time when there's a major shift happening in the entertainment industry where, where movie stars are kind of going away everything is moving to streaming now it just sucks because she's you know she's finally getting her foot in, in the door uh, when you know there may not even be any place for her to get her foot in <laughs> or whatever anyway uh, you know this cast looks phenomenal I loved the trailer, I loved how it was cut, I loved how the music was used, and uh, I'm very interested in this story being um, adapted on the big screen. What did you guys think of the trailer? Are you excited for Bombshell? What are you most excited for? Are you familiar with the true story? And what do you think um, this movie is going to bring to that story? Do you think that, that they're going to say anything important, or is it basically going to be... Uh, something else that may be disappointing maybe telling us the same thing that we've heard before let me know what you think in the comment section below and if you have not done so already go ahead and click that subscribe button so that you can get more content like this which contains movie news reviews and reactions from your boy Derek right here at Anamanji don't forget to click that like button and do not forget to click that bell notification so that you will know when I post again that's all I have for now. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, stay dope. Oh. Um.